welcome back YouTube. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Glad to be here as always. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at how to burn an ISO file. So let's say you want to go ahead and burn an operating system for your computer. And you want to go ahead and just burn that straight into a DVD. Or if you want to go ahead and burn it into a CD. Rather than doing it on a USB drive. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that with a free software. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the link on the description for this. So this is, we're going to be using Active ISO Burner. And you can also burn CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. Okay. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, this particular software supports all of these formats right there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, download it. This is a free software. Alright, so once it's downloaded, as you can see it right there. All we have to do is execute it and we're going to go ahead and install it, okay? So we'll go ahead and click next. Accept the agreement. Yes, next. Next, and that's it. We'll go ahead and launch the ISO burner. All right, so as you can see, this is the uh, actual software right here. Pretty simple user interface. And right here, I have the latest and greatest version of Windows 10. I was able to download it directly from the uh, Microsoft Store. So let's go ahead and load that into this particular software. All right, but before that, I want to go ahead and show you. This is my DVD drive right there. Let me go ahead and insert a DVD, a blank DVD, and you'll be able to see that. It's going to go ahead and show up right there. All right, as you can see right here in the bottom right hand corner, it's detecting the uh, blank DVD right there, and right here as well. I have a DVD in there that's 4 gigs little more than four gigs all right so we'll go ahead and minimize that now right here I have my Windows 10 ISO file so you click right there to be able to load the ISO file you click this button right there and you go where you have your ISO file in this case I have mine in, in the desktop okay so you double click that to go ahead and load that into the software okay now it's detecting the actual operating system the ISO file here so right here mode track one that's stays as it is by default now speed this is very 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 important you want to go ahead and set it to the lowest speed okay I would recommend doing it either three or four and then after that just go ahead and click burn and that will be it right after that you will be able to go ahead and uh, load this particular operating system into a into a computer and go ahead and uh, load load the system baby right into it all right so that's going to do it for this one this is a quick way tutorial this is a quick tutorial to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and uh, burn your ISO files into the uh, DVD okay so make sure you go ahead and uh, hit that like button please show me some love and subscribe all right so I will see you in the next tutorial soon thanks a lot for watching